Hello and happy Monday everybody. I'm back talking about Disney pin trading and collecting. And like I said yesterday, I wasn't sure if I was going to do another Halloween based pin or uh, continue on with the superhero pins for a little while. But I did decide to go back to the Halloween based pins, seeing how it is October and everything. So the pin we're going to be talking about tonight is a hidden Mickey pin and it's one of the uh, Haunted Mansion Pet Cemetery series pins and there were six of these pins in all. This one was put out in 2009. So we're talking about almost a 10 year old pin. And uh, this one happens to be a pet rat uh, who had a tombstone installed in the pet cemetery and it says in memory of my rat, which I loved, whom I loved, now he's resting in the realms up above. Uh, a little bit hard to read, and the hidden Mickey on this pin is down at the very bottom of the tombstone itself. Since it is basically an all silver pin, with just a little bit of coloring uh, on the rat face and the wings uh, makes it a little bit difficult to read but what a fun pin the back of it of course does say that it's a hidden mickey pin and that it is number one of six uh, with the uh, disney pin trading logo and disney uh, china on the back of it as uh, most pins have that just a fun pin, but uh, as it being a fun pin, it comes from one of my favorite parts of the parks, which is the Haunted Mansion attraction. You know, most of the Disney parks, all of the Disney parks, uh, have a Haunted Mansion of one kind or another. Uh, of course, Disneyland, which theirs came out in 1969, and then Disney World's opened in 71. Although they're primarily the same show inside the ride, they have very different facades, very different looks to them as you walk up to them. The one, uh, of course, at Walt Disney World is a little bit more foreboding and uh, appears to be more of a haunted mansion type uh, facade uh, than the one at Disneyland. But then, of course, you know, we have... Uh, we have Mystic Manor in Shanghai and we have... Uh, the Phantom Manor at Disneyland Paris. And the folks at Disney, you know, they, although they try to keep the show and the story pretty much the same, they try to enhance it or change it to kind of meet where it's at as well. Uh, Mystic Manor in Shanghai is a completely different story. Whereas the other ones follow the Phantom of the Manor and through the bride sequences, uh, as far as the show goes. Lots to see in the Haunted Mansion. It is obviously one of their older rides, older attractions, but uh, I still see something different every time I go through one, and it's still one of my favorite rides. You know, one of the, uh, one of the things that I like when I'm reading a lot about the history and the different things of the Haunted Mansion ride is the fact that they literally bring dust in uh, a special anti-allergenic dust that they spread around the mansion as part of the process and that's a great part about disney is they take that detail and they make it happen to where you feel and see and smell a lot of the show so every sense that you have somehow gets involved and incorporated in the show ride itself, uh, which just leads you to almost a overwhelming sense of things around you to where it is hard to see everything the first, the second, the hundredth time through the attraction, which is all part of the charm. You know, the Haunted Mansion being as aged as it is, most of its effects uh, are considered outdated to today's standards when we're talking about special effects. However, uh, things like uh, Pepper's Ghost that they use whenever you're looking at the ballroom scene 
uh, where they're celebrating the bride and the wedding. Uh, I'll let you look up Pepper's Ghost and not spoil it for you here, but that particular effect is well over 100 years old and uh, still just extremely effective uh, used in the Haunted Mansion today. So, you know, you've got to enjoy the ingenuity and the engineering behind this and when they decided that they were going to make it a ride-through attraction and once the invention of the Omni Movers uh, became part of that fact, I think it just enhanced. I can't imagine what it would have been like walking through the Haunted Mansion at Disney World. Uh, riding in the Doom Buggy seems to be very appropriate for that particular attraction. But it is one of my favorite attractions. Thereby, a lot of my favorite pins actually are Haunted Mansion themed. Um, and like I said, the cemeteries that surround the haunted mansions, if you go take the time to walk slowly in the cemeteries so that you can take in a lot of that pre-show, uh, you know, read the tombstones. Uh, not only are they kind of funny and quirky, but most of them have some type of a history with either one of the Imagineers or Engineers, um, visual, voice, acting, uh, somebody that had some part in the developmental phases of that attraction uh, are left with that homage to what they did and who they were. Uh, maybe kind of odd that it's a cemetery, but it's done in a very lighthearted manner. So I, I think you'll enjoy the walking pre-show uh, cue at the Haunted Mansions if you've not done it, or if you have done it, but it's been quite a while, go again, take your time and take a look at the, what they have to offer. I think you're going to have an enjoyable time. The Haunted Mansion's one of my favorites. This is one of six pins in this Hidden Mickey series. It is one of the pet cemetery pins, like I said before, and it is the rat. If you have any of the other Pet Cemetery pins, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, if you happen to have a picture, you know, you can certainly send that to me as well. Always, we want to get some conversations started, so I'd love to hear your opinions. Haunted Mansion is still one of my favorite attractions at Disney World. Like and comment. Also, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of the content. I'm trying to put out new content every single day in regards to the Disney Pin Collecting and Trading Series. And then we do the Self-Defense and Personal Safety Series once a week on Saturdays. Hope to see you guys again back tomorrow. Have a great night.